sense of what it is. If 10 to the power of 4 is 10,000, then logarithm of 10,000 is 4. This logarithm is the exponent. The logarithm is the exponent required. Powers of 10, whole number powers, uh, or give you whole number uh, logarithms. If we have 10 to the A equals B, how would I write that in the other form here? This, this is uh, exponential form, because I'm writing it with an exponential expression. This form is logarithmic form. Again, anytime you give names to things, it makes it sound more complicated. It's just the same as if you say square root of 9 is 3 or 3 squared is 9. Someone could say to you that this is called square root form and this is called square form. People don't call it that though. But just, just to make this clear here, you can write these are equivalent expressions. You could say 4 plus 2 equals 6, or you could write it in kind of subtraction form, 4 equals 6 minus 2. Those are sort of two different forms of an of a equivalent statement. These are two different forms of an equivalent statement. One is written with an exponential expression. One is written with a logarithmic expression on the other side. It's just the same as anything else. If 10 to the power of a is b, I can write that as logarithm of b is a, all right? You can, you can think about those as equations that you can work with just like any other equation. You know when you're in grade 8 and you learn to solve these kind of equations? You learn in grade 8 probably that you needed to do the inverse operation to isolate the variable here. As in, if you subtracted 3 from both sides, why did that simplify the, the left side? What happens here? Those two inverse operations cancel each other out, right? And you're just left with the x. It's the same thing here. If you have 10 to the power of 4 is 10,000, this is an operation 10 to the power of. I know it looks like a number there. <laughs> Just like this is a number, but it's an you know it's an operation adding three. If you want to cancel out or get at the exponent here, if I if I do the logarithm of both sides, logarithm of ten to the power of, what do those two operations do to each other? Same thing as over here, right? Adding three, subtracting three, logarithm of ten to the power of, these cancel each other out. You just have a four there. 4 is log of 10,000. So we're going to think of we're going to think of logarithm as an operation here. There's these two keys on your calculator, 10 to the x, while well, they're on the same key. They're two different operations, they're inverse operations. This is we're just going to call the logarithm. This is a hard one to say what to do. If somebody says take a value and Take a value like 6, then take the logarithm of that number. That's easy to say. Take, log, take the logarithm of 6. If somebody says 6 and then they want to describe what this button does, it's hard to describe what that button does. Take 6 and then do 10 to the power of that number. To describe that, to say, well, if you want to raise the number you have 
10 to the power of that. People usually just abbreviate that and call this the anti-log, the logarithm and the anti-logarithm. This is just the same as if you had squaring. You could call this anti-squaring, except that we don't call it that. We call it square root, but they're inverse operations. So we're going to refer to this button as the anti-log button because it undoes what the logarithm button does. Can you work through some of this here? I'm going to ask you pretty soon to think about logarithms in other bases. They're not on your calculator, but it's the same concept. Read through this. Try filling in some of the blanks there. And then we'll talk about this. Okay, I'm going to pause. Okay, at the risk of completely confusing you, we're going to look at logarithms in other bases as well. Okay? On your calculator, you have logarithm and 10 to the x. You don't have probably any other. You have one other one that you don't realize yet, but you don't have any other base. You don't have any other numbers with other bases. You have 10, you have e to the x, but we'll get into that later. You probably don't have 2 to the x. Um, if you did, you'd need a logarithm in that particular base. This is specific to base 10, right? This one just says logarithm, but really it should say logarithm with a 10 there to say we're working in base 10. It's assumed you're working in base 10, obviously, because that's what we, what we use. If you did have a 2 to the x key, you would need a logarithm base 2. This one is logarithm base 10 up here, even though it doesn't say a 10. You need a logarithm base 2 key, and that would be written like this with a little subscript. You've, you've used subscripts before in chemistry and stuff like that, right? Just a little note about it. It's not a power. Okay, logarithm with a subscript of 2 means log base 2. Okay, logarithm base... Two. These would be inverses of each other just the same way. Okay, so let's try and write some statements down here to make some sense of it. Uh, you know your power is a 10. That's why this was easy, right? 1, 10, 100. Your whole number powers of 10, I mean. So then it was easy to say something like using this one. The logarithm base 10 of that number was 4, right? Do you know your power is a 2? What's the next one? 2 to the 0, 2 to the 1, 2 to the 2 is 4, 2 to the 3 is 8, 16, 32. How far do we know them here? Two fifty-six, five twelve. 512, I don't know. I mean, it. And then we get to 1024. Yeah, I mean, with computers these days, you should actually know that more than somebody would have a long time ago. Those numbers come up in, although now when you buy computers, we're up to one gigabyte and stuff. A few years ago, you'd buy a computer would have, does it have 256 megabytes uh, or 512? So those numbers were everywhere, right? Now, actually, when you buy something with one gigabyte of, of uh, RAM, it's actually that number they rounded off to one like one gigabytes a thousand megabytes they rounded off anyways that's a discussion for another time if you know these numbers let's take this let's take uh, this one here if we write it as an exponential statement here two to the third equals eight so if we're working in base two if I had a log base two key I could put the number 8 in, like if I put an 8 in and then I push log base 2, if I push that button, what would it give me? It would give me a 3, right? The logarithm base 2 of 8 is 3. These are two different equivalent statements. 2 to the third is 8, right? With this, this function, okay, that would be this key, right? 2 to the x, even though you don't have that key. The inverse of that function is log base 2. Log base 2 of 8 is 3. 2 to the 3 is 8. 
They're, they're inverse statements just like any other inverse statements, like yeah. like I had before up there, right? Mm -hmm. Ten minutes, i got to stop again. Can you try the questions below there? <laughs>